Now we start a new part, part seven, sensors. At the first, I give you a definition. What is a sensor? Sensor is a device to measure a physical quantity, for example, a string gauge, to measure distortion or force. Now before we discuss uh, sensors, and we need uh, to clarify those uh, fundamental concepts. Measurement range. What is a measurement range? Measurement range is a span between minimum and maximum inputs. Only a special case is from a zero to maximum input. Uh, in many cases, is from minimum to maximum. Take one example: if uh, a copper <coughs> thermometer, the measurement range is from a minus 200 to uh, 260 Celsius. For an ADC, the measurement range may be from a minus five to five. Only some special case, uh, the range is from zero to maximum. For example, a DBM, a multimeter. Uh, say this is a two volt measurement range or a capacitance meter, the measurement range is uh, 200 uh, picofarad. Sensitivity. <coughs> Sensitivity is a ratio of change in output to change in input. For example, a thermocouple per degree have 20 micron volt change. Another example is a capacitance measuring circuit, the two volt per peak farad. All right, we leave this later, this exercise, leave this later. Resolution, what is the resolution? Resolution is the smallest detectable change in input. For example, a compass 0 0.1 seconds. Uh, displacement sensor is a one micrometer or capacitance sensor 0.01 femtofarad. Uh, this is uh, our tomography system. Uh, my own research is uh, electrical capacitance tomography. We can measure the capacitance down to this level, 0.01 femtofarad. Accuracy. Accuracy is related to uncertainty. High accuracy means small uncertainty. It indicates lower limit of measurement, for example, 1% series resistor. Uh, accuracy is more important, actually more difficult to achieve than sensitivity and resolution. Yes, uh, previously we talked about uh, resolution, we talked about uh, sensitivity, Accuracy is the more difficult to achieve. Precision. Precision is related to repeatability of measurements with the same method. Usually the measurements of a fixed parameter present Gaussian distribution. This is a Gaussian distribution. That means if you measure many times, as most of the time appear here, Sometimes appear here, sometimes appears here, but sometimes appear there. Uh, is uh, gradually this uh, away from uh, true value, uh, gradually away from uh, true value. But the chance to present those values are small. Uh, Gaussian uh, Gauss uh, Gauss was uh, German. Uh, again, this uh, seventeen. 77 to 1855. Linearity. Ideally, a transducer can present a straight line response. Often, it is necessary to compensate nonlinearity either in circuit or by software. In the past, people did uh, made a lot of effort to compensate nonlinearity in circuits, but these days, more and more people use the software to compensate non-linearity. System error. <coughs> system error is a constant error, which can be calibrated 
and uh, compensated. I take uh, one example like DVM. If you have uh, offsites, you can adjust uh, offsites. Uh, these uh, days for um, a digital multimeter, there is a function's uh, automatic calibration. The uh, arrow output for zero input is uh, to make sure the output is uh, zero. Drift. Drift is a gradual change in offsite sensitivity. Uh, actually, this is, uh, I should say, this is a gradual change in output, in output due to gradual change, gradual change in, uh, okay. It's a gradual change in output due to gradual change in offsite and or sensitivity. Take one example due to temperature. Here I talk about uh, pre in previous page, I talk about a capacitance sensor. A capacitance sensor is particularly sensitive to temperature. If a temperature change, the output of a capacitance sensor would change. Random error. Random error is related to uncertainty and repeatability because of unpredictable noise interference. Usually, random error presents as a Gaussian distribution. Uh, we talked about the Gaussian distribution before. It looks like this. So to get rid of the noise, we need a filter. Uh, there are many different types of uh, filter, like low pass filter, the like band pass filter. The next uh, concept is the signal to noise ratio. Uh, obviously, this is a signal divided by noise. But normally, people use a uh, log function, use a dB decimal, uh, is a dB as a, uh, as a unit. So, it is a ratio of a signal level to noise. Commonly, SNR is expressed in dB, which is defined by this equation. This last concept is a, it's a standard deviation, i.e. Uh, root mean square. Normally, people use a root mean square arrow. Okay. This is a root, that is a mean, that is a square. Uh, this is in continuous uh, case. In um, discrete uh, format, we have uh, this uh, um, this uh, form. Uh, that is uh, discrete. Let's go a little bit uh, further about uh, string gauge. Uh, this is the first uh, type of uh, sensor we uh, involve, we discuss as a string gauge. String gauge basically is a wire. It's a look like this, it's a wire. So it is a device used to measure uh, deformation or distortion. And like, uh, if we look from this side, this will look like this. So if you bend like this, if this is a string, if I bend like this, uh, the, the resistance, if you measure resistance there, resistance would change. It can be made by flexible PCB. It's exactly like this. If this is a flexible PCB, this uh, becomes a string gauge. The distortion would cause change in resistance, but very small. Typically, the 10 to minus 6, that means one of one meaning, that is very small. So it is difficult to measure such a small, small change. Uh, if a string gauge is mounted on top, is here, on top of a counter lever and another in bottom, then if you uh, put a weight here, uh, this uh, board would uh, bend, that this uh, cause uh, distortion. This uh, distortion will increase uh, resistance on top and decrease uh, resistance in, in bottom. Actually, in most uh, bathroom scales use a uh, string gauge. So we need uh, to um, measure very small 
uh, resistance uh, change. Uh, here, I give you an idea. You need uh, to manage one of one million change. This is a very, very small. To measure such a small change, we need uh, to use a uh, windstone bridge. Oh, I uh, stop uh, here. So this video is quite long. <laughs>